A Russian military plane carrying 60 tons of medical equipment arrived in the U.S. at the end of March. The plane landed in New York, the American city that has been hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic. Among the equipment brought from Russia were face masks and ventilators. Russian Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov said Russia's intent was to help the U.S. deal with the rapid spread of COVID-19, adding that President Trump gladly accepted this humanitarian aid. But according to the U.S. State Department, the equipment and supplies were paid for in full by the U.S. A press statement on the State Department website said the U.S. agreed to purchase the needed medical supplies, including ventilators and personal protection equipment from Russia, following a conversation on March 30 between President Trump and President Putin. Later, Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that half of the supplies were paid for by the Russian side, while the other half by the U.S. On the same day, the State Department issued another statement saying the supplies were indeed purchased by Washington, yet for a discounted price. Heather Conley, an analyst at CSIS, says Russia's intent may not be completely altruistic. When countries and nations are in, uh, in, having an emergency, usually those offers of goodwill are designed uh, to try to create a better environment. But on the other hand, the Kremlin could certainly use this as demonstrating that the United States is not managing the crisis very well. For the Kremlin, the shipment was a propaganda coup, says analyst Michael Carpenter of the Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy. The intention, obviously, is to make it seem as if it's a humanitarian gesture, which in itself would be fine, uh, only that uh, this material, as I just said, is going to be more badly needed in Russia than it is here. However, the aid gesture received only cursory treatment in Russia state media, perhaps a reflection of the growing concerns in Russia over the coronavirus outbreak. For Alexey Nevsky in Washington, NRI's VOA News.